time flies when you're adapting and evolving, but we've got time for one more story. Check it out. See if you can picture this creature. It's a male and it's a female. It's the most colourful thing in the ocean, but it can also be brown. It's the most amazing shape you've ever seen and it's a flat blob. Yep, they're an underwater contradiction. What are we talking about? The fancy slugs of the sea, the nudibranchs. And these incredible mollusks are a great example of adaptation and evolution in the ocean. Then there's this guy, Cedric. He's a scientist who specialises in visual ecology, which means he knows all about animals and their colourings. We're using nudibranchs to try to understand um, the evolution of animal coloration and um, the function that the colour patterns that animals display serve. So why do they do that and how do they do that? I'm trying to develop um, tools and methods that allow humans to see the world the way animals see it. There are more than 3,000 individual species of nudibranchs and they come in a huge range of shapes, sizes and, of course, colours. And it's the colours that are of particular importance when we're looking at their unique evolution and adaptation. So with nudibranchs, we think that they originate from slugs or um, ancestors with shells. And, and as they have lost their shell over time, they needed to come up with alternative ways of defending themselves. And one of the ways you can do that is by trying to not be seen in the first place. So evolve camouflage. Or you can evolve very intricate ways of defending yourself with weapons. And you can then go around advertising yourself and, and telling everyone around you that you are very well defended. And that's what gives rise to warning coloration. <laughs> exactly why the nudibranchs have evolved with their flamboyant colours is tricky, but Cedric uses some amazing tech to capture these beauties for his research. The combo of digital underwater photography, visual modelling and colour pattern analysis allows humans to describe and measure the design and function of nudibranch coloration through the eyes of their predators in the natural environment, like the triggerfish. If we show these, these colours and patterns to, to our triggerfish here and we observe what they do with that information, um, for example, if they can learn to uh, avoid a certain colour or a certain pattern, then that helps us to understand why the nudibranchs wear the colours they wear. But it's not colour that's their most impressive adaptive quality. It's their incredible ability as thieves. Nudibranchs derive their amazing colours and toxins from their prey. Scientists aren't sure how, but they can consume the toxins without being affected by them. And then they store them as a defence mechanism. Some species are even able to eat stinging jellyfish and absorb their stingers into their own skin for use as their own armour. Yep, nudibranchs are in a league of their own.